Hello and welcome back to Open TTD, where we are looking today at an unfinished station. Well, actually, not really the station itself, but more like the tracks leading to it. I mean, it's just a station, but nothing can come in. We are about to change that as we have all the infrastructure set up here for some absolutely massive coal uh, hauling. Look at this. This is a Patraikos freighter and it is awesome. So yeah, we are going to haul some coal, but where from? I can hear you ask. I will show you on the map. Look, from over here, from over here from over here from pretty much everywhere so yeah we definitely got a lot of, to do i'm not really sure about these ones i might just hook them up with a boat but i'm not really sure on this one i think they're too far away this body of water is kind of like uh, preventing it from really working that effectively seeing how we have to distribute engineering supplies across two transit points and I don't think that will work out that well. I think we'll lose too much in that progress. So these three, we're not going to hook up. The rest of them, hell yeah, and <laughs> we're going to be hauling a lot of coal, definitely. So uh, let us get over here and let us assess the situation as I do believe we need to please the town of Grenfing Bridge. Uh, along with uh, hooking up this hotel, yeah, definitely. And well, these are the first two down here. There's no cities over here. There is a garn pool. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. I think first thing we need to do is actually uh, set up some passenger transportation for a Grandfing Bridge so that it does not become too pissed off <laughs> when we uh, start uh, reshaping everything here majorly. And, well, reshaping, I mean adding loads and loads of coal stations, of course. So, uh, yeah, let us uh, get on with that, shall we?
Alright, so that's the first two coal lines uh, hooked up and that means that we'll finally see some actual usage out of this station. Uh, however, um, there is a bit of a however. You can see that we are employing steam trains and that is because of the fact <laughs> that not all the tracks have catenary. And you could say, why don't you upgrade it? I'm not going to because the fact that we have electric right now in like 1924 uh, doesn't mean that that will be the future from now on. We haven't even seen a single diesel locomotive and I am damn well sure know that they are actually in the train sets, you know, they gotta be. I mean, it's based on like real life trains, so uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons why I'm not upgrading. I want to have those diesel engines, you know, and if I upgrade everything, I'll probably never switch back to uh, electric because, uh, well, you know. Anyway, so that's why we have steam trains under a catenary. Uh, for the rest, though, I think we're doing uh, pretty all right over here. I think, though, that Grenfing Bridge doesn't really like us that much, but we do have everything set up uh, for them to start liking us pretty soon as, you know, we haul passengers to and fro, so there should not be any problems regarding to what they think of us in the future. That's these two... Oh, wait, hold on a second. There is a third cold mine. Uh, coal mine. <laughs> cold mine! Yeah, you know, you know those, right? <laughs> now, there's a third coal mine over here. And I think... Ooh, we need to make a tactical decision over here. Will we use tracks over here? Or will we go round like this? I think it's best to actually use the tracks over there. No, it's actually not because we also want to have these coal mines hooked up and they'll probably use these tracks. So we'll go the... Uh, excuse me there. We'll go this way and yeah, that does mean we'll grab this little coal mine next. I say little, that's producing a fair amount. Also, we have two relatively large towns over here with a hotel. I think... Wait, what? <laughs> this is a grain mill now? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought grain mills were actually more like, uh, well, just, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, um, 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 <laughs> like, wait, it's not here? I thought it was here. Oh, <laughs> I thought for a moment I knew where a grain mill was. I still do though, look, I thought that grain mills looked like... Wait, they're all gone? No way. I can't even remember where our grain mills are. Wow, <laughs> that's bad, that is really bad. Somewhere there are grain mills that look like grain mills, <laughs> you know? Just saying, also, I am well aware I do need to take care of this. We'll do later on, not for right now though. <laughs> this is another one of those things that need upgrading. Anyway, I thought that grain mills looked like actual grain mills and not like these upgraded grain factories. And uh, to be honest, I kind of liked the traditional grain mill look a little bit better, but it seems that that is a disappearing sight of Wow, do we really not have any green mills anywhere? No. We've gotta have one. Yeah, it looked like this. I thought that this was a green mill. <laughs> I think that this one's much more space efficient too. Right, back to where we were. Whoa, that's like far, far away, man. <laughs> anyway, back to where we were developing stuff, which was over here. Let us set up the town-pleasing measures uh, for Druntway and Tuntborn. Also, I might have forgotten to do a very important thing over here uh, at Grandfring Bridge, and that is to uh, build the statue of me. That will greatly help with any ratings, so there we go. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's get this sorted, shall we? Let's uh, let's actually hook up uh, the towns over here.
Alright, we got that sorted right now, but uh, yeah, I think it was quite safe to say that this was a little bit derpy over here. Never really saw it, you know, I th the chimney and the smoke were kind of like in the way. I thought that it was just running fine, then I saw the moss on the tracks and I was like, hmm, hey, you know, something ain't right over here. <laughs> and, uh, well, guess what, I was actually right, unfortunately. Also, I'm well aware that this is gonna be a choke point like really really soon and this will probably need like some major capacity upgrades in the near future. For now though, I'm just gonna try and put more vehicles, uh, or vehicles, trains as they are on uh, this line. So, for the time being, I think we have, yeah, we got our first two trains over here, all timetabled nicely. So, and these towns, I don't think they started hating us that much, despite us, uh, you know, ruin and building stations over here. I think it was just outside of their uh, influence range and possibly their view as well, <laughs> seeing how they're in a dense forest, as like the whole world seems to be, except where there's farms. So, right, by the way, how's Trundway doing? Not actually that many passengers waiting at the hotel. Yeah, there are some passengers waiting over here. However, you know what I realize? That we might perhaps actually lack some turning points over here. Like this. You know what we could even do? Rather than make a turning point, why don't we just loop around like that? Right, okay, because now they were using the depot and that was not really what I wanted to, so... There, got that fixed. I think we are about to get ready to hook up our next two coal mines, one of which actually is like hyper-productive. Very, 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 very nice. And we can also hook it up nicely over here. I know that these tracks seem a bit disjointed and all, but hey, we've got... Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, about that. Look, I mean, th this coal mine is producing like crazy. It's just that we're not hauling away <laughs> enough. <laughs> you know, that, that might be an issue, you know, just saying. Anyway, um, we shall right now hook up like uh, these two uh, coal mines, probably with one station. And then it's on to the next uh, coal mine. So uh, yeah, let's get these two done, shall we? Alright, and that's these two coal mines and now also hooked up and so far I'm quite curious. Ah, no traffic jams at all. And the station actually does get quite some usage, though how much do you... You only have a hundred tons in your cargo bay. 
Alright, so far that means you're running next to no profit. Besides, I don't think you'll ever be really running any profit. Oh, well, actually, the transfer costs do get you some profit, I guess. The real question now is, of course, can... Uh, well, our, may our mega long train, which seemingly has... Uh, oh my good lord. This is the 462 Pacific Steam. Look at the freaking speed that it has. Wow. It also seems to be of the uh, UK set as the, it has like some very, uh, you know, colors over there and the, the whole uh, style of the train seems from the UK set. But look at the speed. Definitely something we'll want to investigate later. For now, of course, we're not going to take it. Anyway, like I was saying, yeah, I think our very long train here is definitely able to handle everything that we unload here so far. How are the chemicals doing? That's another good question. The uh, train's just coming. You can carry 160, so we're still fine. Yeah, just saying. Right, okay, the next coal mine in this direction is over here, and it's also like the last one. Um, I don't think that if we build it over here, we will piss off uh, Garnpool. So we'll leave Garnpool for what it is. We do, however, want to build ourselves a fancy statue over here, which we also forgot to do with the uh, last coal mines before the two we just did. You know, that town, this one, Tuntborn, I believe it is, yeah. Tundborn, you'll also get a statue. I know you'll like it. <laughs> At least I do. <laughs> so, yeah, looking good, looking good. Alrighty, so, yeah, I guess um, it is time for a Garnpool Coal Mine to come into the fold, as they say. Alright, and done. You can see I've gone for like three shorter trains over here. Uh, that's purely because of the frequency of visits. Uh, that kind of applies to, uh, well, you know, to the whole ratings uh, mechanics in this game. So that's why I've gone with that route for that uh, coal mine. But it does seem to me, at least, that we have most certainly hooked everything up. Also, I'm um, wondering, yeah, these are the short trains, that's not actually the longer ones that need to come over there. We'll see for now how they do, perhaps they don't manage so well. How fast are you going? You're going 96. How well do you traverse this hill though? It's not really going that well. I don't see any traffic jams here. I have lowered the terrain already. Uh, in case we do get traffic jams, what I'm gonna do is just add like an extra ramp over here that if this one's like uh, being used, then the trains can still use uh, a second one, you know, to kind of enhance capacity. Because I'm well aware that full trains need to go up three over here. But in all honesty, with this tunnel that we got here, which is needed because of the farm, I just don't see any other option, to be honest. I mean, I just don't know how else to do this uh, without having to use this bridge. Because ideally, of course, we'd use a tunnel over here. Because that saves us going up one uh, height level, but... Oh well, for now, it's uh, this is the way that we're, we'll be doing it. Also, how is the Petrojka? Oh my good lord. 
Right, I know one thing, that the train that is currently running over here is not going to be able to haul all this coal. I don't know how much you can carry, 240. I already know that we are going to need an extra one. So, oh crap. I think he was just about to enter the station there. Yeah, there we go. Second train. Yeah, and these trains, man, I mean, these are really gonna make the difference, you know? Just saying. Look at this long beauty there. <laughs> yeah, I quite like it. I also seem to be using more and more station lanes right now. Yeah, traffic is getting heavy on this one. Good, good, good. So, you might wonder, alright, what's next? Well, um, we shall see what is next. By opening up the map over here, and you can see... Clearly now, the rain is gone. <laughs> the trains are gone. <laughs> no, uh, but we need these two to be connected. And we'll join them up in like uh, this fashion with some kind of a, a junction over here. That is going to be quite an interesting one to pull off actually. Seeing how there is a station on this section. Though perhaps... That makes it easier, in a way? Maybe, I mean, I certainly see some potential over here. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. For now though, uh, these two coal mines are right over here. I do want, like, a central station uh, serving them both. I also see a two hotels. What? What? Oh my good lord, Slut Hatton Hotel! Uh, wow. Wow. Slut Hatton Hotel, honestly. Okay, so this is now a thing. We shall hook this up right now.
Alright, sorted. Uh, the whole town is now hooked up uh, to the, this crazy hotel even. I don't even think that four of these trams will be even able to cope with the amount of passengers that this hotel generates. I mean, it's going to be crazy. We're gonna have like a huge, huge, huge amount of passengers influx over here. This is just insane. It absolutely is. Especially when you consider that Slut Hatton only needs three passengers to grow. <laughs> yup. Uh, little Braiding Town, on the other hand, needs 195. But guess what? We can supply that. Actually, also needs petrol. So, Little Braiding Town is nowhere uh, when it comes to growing anytime soon. Also, we should add, I feel, like one more of these, perhaps even four more, there, and then what we should also do, probably, is uh, add four more over there, right, because, I mean, you know, four trams of passengers that take from over here and also need to be hauled away, of course. Slut Hatton, tell me, are you already growing? Now this, I think this is only updated monthly, so therefore we're not seeing anything yet. What I am wondering about though is how are we doing over here when it comes to the coal and the amount of it more specifically. Over here not so bad, over here not so bad either actually. Oh wow, look, look at you being like this heavily fully loaded train totally crazy you got your 240 tons and you are hauling it away at top speed like it ain't a problem at all great if I may say so also I'm just curious to what the reliability is in our electric engine what you've got to be kidding me what this no way in all honesty, this is this is a little bit absurd. I mean, this is like an extremely well-engineered loc uh, electric locomotive. Loco locomotive? I don't even know. Wow. I mean, wow. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. I'm telling you right now. Also, yeah, yeah well, we'll, ju we'll just leave this be, uh, however, we probably do want, yeah, we want an extra chemical strain. We'll set that up, I will select you so I know which one to clone. And then, yeah, from over here. Right, cloning initiated. Definitely, especially with these long trains, we just really need, like, uh, a pretty big, um, thingy train. Petrol train. No, chemical train, that is, actually. Are you running a profit? You are actually running a profit. However, your, whoa, wow, your value is deteriorating rapidly, by the way, too. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I mean, this one does need to make a lot more profit in order for it to even be, uh, to be like, uh, you know, uh, real net profits, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. For now, we do have this very, have I, I don't know, these are different trains, actually. I thought for a moment there that I actually, uh, that this was a coal train and I had forgot to put it to coal because if you do that it will put all the uh, wagon, it will make all the wagons yellow, but... Ah well, what can you do, right? What can you do? Okay, so with this sorted, I guess the next operation is like far up here. Let us grab the map once more and see, um, like, yeah, this, this is a pretty big cluster. I'm also tempted to just grab this one. It's not really spectacular or anything. It would require only, actually, we, we would only need to redo, like, this junction and something like, 
a few tracks and that lead all the way to over here that's all we would need to do for it the question is is it worth it i think we'll wait with that one i mean we, we got like a pretty big group of uh, crap and now i closed it didn't mean to no we got a pretty big group over here i think what we should do is pair up these two pair up these two so guarding hall needs some love Ooh, you know what, no. I was thinking like maybe hooking up one of these stations to the ocean and then transfer the coal by ship, but nah. That ain't gonna work, so we won't do it. Besides, you know, uh, doing the um, actual uh, engineering supplies distribution, that is going to be a nightmare. Besides, what we could also do with this coal mine is run it through directly. I mean, it is able to reach it over there. That might even be faster, considering that is a straight line, and here it would make to, it would need to make a transit. That is considerably faster, actually. And all the tracks are in place for this as well. So you could actually receive supplies directly. However, it would mean an awful. Uh, a lot of distance to cover for those supply trains would make the route especially long as well we'll have to see well we'll have to see how that one actually works out wow is is this really happening am i seeing what i'm seeing over here and that is that um the uh Petroico freighter is actually going to be filled up completely already Wait, are you broken down or something? What happened? No, you're not. You're not too heavy either. Hmm. Odd. Wow, look at this though. It seems like we might almost need more than just one Patroiku freighter. I did not accept... Uh, wait. It's... Uh, Patroikos fr uh, Pat freighter. I did not expect that, but man, we might even see this sink into the water a little bit more. Uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Look at it loading though, it actually takes a while to load. Yeah, look, look, it's actually, it's sunk a little. Wow. <laughs> now it's carrying some actual weight. It, this is act. I mean, you... It is impossible for me to accept that a ship, you know, when it's fully loaded is not making a profit. You just need to make sure that it's always fully loaded. And it seems like we're actually about to pull that off. So that is quite surprising uh, for me, but um, yeah, I like it. Now, as far as I can see though, well, I don't want to know like one thing. How is the passenger situation over here? We're actually managing to take care of all of these passengers that we got over here. Not entirely though, as the trains do need to like load, but... Or the trains, the trams, I mean, of course. Ah well, that that's only minor, you know, it's not, it's not that bad either, seeing how we just can't get like uh, any real traffic jams. Hmm, this is a new railway locomotive, and it is on, <laughs> what, it is on gasoline, <laughs> and it is cheap to run a year, <laughs> tell me, how does that exactly uh, work out, I thought that gasoline was like the most expensive way of propulsing yourself, seeing how you need like uh, expensive fuel and also a lot of maintenance, but it is slow, it is uh, weak, and it is cheap. I don't see any use for this, but um, I like it. I like what they're thinking with this. I like being handed new stuff. But now they're... That's doing fine. That's doing fine. It seems like we're just doing fine all around. So it's Hatton. Yeah, look at that. See, town grows every uh, 95 days. We got 50 passengers stored, so... Yeah, that's going. Um, now... It does not need mail as of yet. It doesn't even say anywhere what it needs, I guess. Yeah, cargo needed, so that's all basically. 
Right, looking good. Well, I think that we'll actually save all these coal mines over here for uh, you know the next time but definitely this whole coal operation is starting to shape up nicely and I think it won't be for long you know when we've hooked up all these coal lines that we will already need to uh, redo some track works just to facilitate like the bare minimum traffic that we currently got imagine how that's gonna be when uh, the supplies start coming at coming in I mean then it's gonna be crazy I'm just saying that we got 50 let's say that with like 80% ratings we get 1300 engineering supplies a month picked up we only need to deliver it in a three month window of course with the transit we're gonna lose some but still three month window 1300 times three huh I guess you can see where that's going but that and more all has to wait for next time, when we play more Open TTD.